by Raven's car. The forecast was not this bad when we first uh, were planning it, but uh, this morning woke up, the forecast is terrible, it's going to be wet and soggy all day. Uh, but often that can lead to good finds, it also means it's going to be quiet on the beach, so can't complain there. Just going to be a bit of a slog up and down the hills in the wind and the rain. Uh, but I'll be back with you when we've got some. Down onto a very soggy beach and you start finding here ammonites in the nodules and in the shale. Everything in the bedrock is protected so we will not be digging anything out of the bedrock. If you see me digging stuff out it's out of loose shale. Uh, so just remember that if you're coming yourselves. Game has spot the fossil. So there's an obvious gap there, which a little squished on the edge, but otherwise okay. Not a pretty one, but it's got some lovely little nodes, so that makes it either a Paranosaurus or something rarer. Uh, and I don't know my little spiny ones, so that'll come back with me and I'll see if I can identify it. I think it might be one of the rarer ones, uh, but we'll just have to see when I get back. So there's an interesting ammonite right there on this loose little block. And I think that one could be interesting. Whether or not it's got a middle is a good question. Uh, we'll get the chisel out and uh, see if we can extract this thing. So it came out cleanly enough. Uh, and I think it should all be there in that because there's nothing visible on any of the sides. Uh, but it's a bit of an interesting shelly matrix. Uh, so a bit like the Gramo blocks, but yeah, I don't know. That's why I like coming to Raven's car. All the things I get to pick up and go, I don't know. A reasonably nice piece of fern. Uh, not bad seeing it's uh, in the sandstone. So not bad at all. Very, very water worn and then bored ammonite. Uh, We'll shift this a tap probably just because I don't think it's going to be well preserved inside. Uh, I think it's a grandma, but it might be a little hildy. So we'll see. Uh, I'm an idiot. I should have taken it home and prepped it because it's now broken. Ugh, annoying. I got a nice Catacelocerus, or however you would like to pronounce it. Uh, but the cats, the fat dax, uh, last time I was here, I think this might be another looking at the sort of the ridging and the slight spininess of it. Uh, I will show that one off later. It's being prepped by Marcus Cliff from Natural Wonders in Whitby. And I think this might be another uh, Katie who I'm with today has got another. So it's been a pretty good day for them. Uh, tap the edge of it just to see if I could expose some more. And you might just be able to see it's slightly nody, which makes it uh, definitely not a DAC. That'll be a Catacelocerus as well. That's uh, a pretty, pretty little ammonite. Just clambering over the shipwreck in the second sort of bay. So what I thought was an ammonite keel like that uh, turned out another big old shell, a uh, little bivalve, just sticking out. Leave that one there though. A nice little gramoceros there sticking out. Obviously another one that's come across the top, uh, and it would appear that there's some more running through it. Uh, so we'll take that one home. That looks quite nice. That one. How about this for a big old belemnite? A uh, little tiny ammonite next to it as well. So I don't know if you guys can tell, but this rock left this hole and fell from up there. And you can see how far away from the cliffs I am. I'm probably 20 meters away and there's another big rock right there. Just see the crater behind it. So just a reminder to be safe, keep yourselves away from cliffs, especially after all the rains. It's going to be a lot more dangerous. Uh, it's good for fossils, but uh, please be safe. A very, very pyritic Gramoceros. Uh, you can see just the shine and the colour change on it. Uh, that's pretty rotten, uh, so I'm going to leave that here. Uh, one more thing I picked up. Doesn't look like much. It isn't very exciting for most people, but it's a nice piece of fossil wood. You can actually see the grain with pyrite running through it all the way through to the other end. So I quite like that, so I'm going to keep that one. Long-time viewers of the channel probably know that uh, as part of our wedding favours that are uh, wedding, my wife and I had fossils that we gave away, uh, and some of them were fossil hearts that look very much like this. Uh, and it's quite difficult to explain what they are unless you can see more of it. So, this is a good example. You can see this is the rest of a shell, a big bivalve that comes around on each side. And so, you've got both 
sets of shells basically that come together and if you section it through at a good angle you get what looks like a fossil heart even though it's just a big bivalve shell that comes around and so you've got one two valves that make the heart shape nice little one on top as well this is actually gorgeous or at least to me this is gorgeous so this is a big old chunk of wood here uh, that's been washed up and against it there's this what looks like a storm deposit of all these shells but it's also possible all these shells were growing on it and uh, when this tree was just in the water column and so you end up with big old beds of what look like oysters and other bivalves up against these blocks the rain has come back with a vengeance so back in the first bay just picking over the uh, stuff on the waterline. Uh, nice looking nodule, popped it open, and a beautiful little grimoceros. Another one for the bag. Yeah, one of those perfect nodules, you go, ah, oh, this is gonna split the treat, it's gonna be a nice ammonite in it, and of course it's super pyritic, and the ammonite it has is a big old deck, so it's not gonna split nicely ever. Uh, but that's gonna have to just come back, because that could be a really nice one in there. Ah, uh, well. Uh, the decks have been really sticky today for splitting, but uh, this one was pre-split on the beach, so we'll take it like that. You can tell how wet it is. That is probably the uh, the most water coming down that fall I've ever seen. But in a better note, another nice little deck. Looks to be all there. Oh, beautiful. Yeah, so finally remembering to do a, an outro on the beach. Uh, apologies for not a massive length uh, hunt today, at least as far as filming, it's been shocking weather as you can see, it's still dripping off me uh, and still raining now, uh, but this is what we need for more fossils to wash out the cliffs, uh, but it is the reminder I need to give you all, just be careful because with the, the worst weather uh, we're going to have a lot more falls, uh, so it'll be good for fossil hunting, but just keep yourself safe out there uh, and I'll catch you all next time.